Hey guys, welcome back to another Virgo Girl recommendation. Today's recommendation is Deep Water. Now this one is probably going to surprise you that I'm actually recommending this one because it wasn't like, it's not like a super popular movie that I've seen. Um, I haven't heard a lot of buzz about it, but it's actually a really good movie. Now the ratings for this movie also aren't the best, but I actually enjoyed it so I am going to recommend it. I'm going to go ahead and put myself out there and recommend it because I think it's a great movie. So basically Ben Affleck is back. He has he's right in his sweet spot you know. I feel like Ben Affleck does well with these types of movies. Um, he's doing an excellent job. I think he is pretty good with movies that kind of get in your head and playing characters that are kind of weird and crazy but not outwardly so like on paper he seems like he would be totally good totally sane and totally a law-abiding citizen but in all actuality he's everything but that so in this movie he is like this um you know he's very wealthy um he has a good job he basically allows his wife to do whatever she wants like just to be free and his wife is really wild so she has all these affairs with all these different men and then it's like it's just the fact that she's having all these affairs with these men that's one component of it that is so odd like it's just weird you know because you have like these other married couples their friends and you know things like that who are seeing this go on and like dude I mean you're looking crazy out here because I mean that's like his wife and his wife like blatantly like flaunts these men and they're all younger that's another thing like the men that she's flaunting in front of him are like younger like really good looking hot guys and then she's having these affairs with them meanwhile the man the husband Ben Affleck he's faithful he's you know doing what he's supposed to be doing as far as you know taking care of the family and you know, seemingly a really good husband, you know, uh, like I said, on paper, it's just like, he's seemingly a good husband. The only thing about him is, to me that I see is that he is older than his wife. His wife seems to be a lot younger than him. And she seems to be more outgoing and fun. Whereas Ben Affleck is more like kind of on the borderline nerdish. Um, he is more reserved. And also not wild. He's not out here having affairs and things like that. It's just not his style. So you have, it's almost like the opposite of what we generally see in movies. We generally see the man going out, you know, having affairs and, you know, the woman is at home doing what she's supposed to be doing with the family. Well, this one kind of switched. It's like in reverse. This wife is not doing anything that she's supposed to be doing. Seemingly they have her as this, um, just kind of like young, fun, um, free spirit who's just doing whatever the hell she wants really one thing about this movie that i want to input here it's so funny because i always like to know where movies um set place like what city state country what ha what have you this movie apparently was in louisiana i believe new orleans to be specific now the funny part about this movie is i did not hear any new orleans accents and that was so bizarre to me because had there been a little bit more of an accent with these people I would have definitely picked up that they were in the south but it was hard to even tell that they were in the south I had to just kind of look it up and then I like looked at some of the license plates and from there I, I figured it out but that's neither here nor there they they could have been implants to New Orleans but when it comes to the other people that were in the in their circle like I didn't hear anyone with an accent I thought that was very bizarre very bizarre especially being that they were in a place like New Orleans mm -hmm. where the accent is so strong okay anyway that part kind of like threw me off because I wanted to hear at least one or two people who sounded like they were from the south I think it would have made it a little bit more authentic as far as where they shot the you know the movie and where the movie was supposed to be um where they're supposed to be living, you know? At any rate, moving on. So Ben Affleck, he basically is this husband who is 
totally in love slash lust with his wife. His wife is wild and sexy and beautiful. By the way, the wife is, it is very extremely, extremely, extremely beautiful. And she knows it. You know what I mean? It's almost like she knows it. It's like she knows she has this pretty girl privilege and it's almost like, well, what are you going to do? You know, I can do whatever I want. What are you going to do about it? Kind of thing. Because I think she's like full of herself to the point to where she feels that she's almost doing him a favor to be married to him. <laughs> you know, it's like, she feels like, you know, she's doing him a favor. Although he's very wealthy. I don't think this lady, I didn't see anywhere where she actually works or anything, but of course she's very well taken care of because he is wealthy. He has a really good job. So there's that. Um, also, what else happened with him? He, Ben Affleck, he, he just plays his character. You guys just, I don't want to give away too much because I'm, I'm recommending it, but the character that he plays, he's so like, when you start like peeling back the layers to his character, he's very odd. You know, he's kind of an odd guy. He just, he has this like snail collection. I don't really get the whole, I mean, maybe I missed something, but if you do watch this movie or if you have watched this movie, what was the significance of this whole snail thing? He has like this big snail collection and it was a part of the movie, but I never did really put together why the snail, where the snail part connected with everything else. I don't know, but it was very odd. Also, um, they have a daughter who's very cute and smart. And there was a couple things that happened with the daughter that I'm like, was this supposed to be like part of a clue or I don't know. It was just the movie itself was overall a good movie. And I think it's a good watch. That's why I'm recommending it. Is it going to go on to win any awards? No, I don't think so. I just think it was a good watch because it was interesting from beginning to end and it had a good ending. There are so many movies that I want to recommend to you guys, but the ending sucks. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not recommending this because the ending doesn't make any sense and it leaves you like needing more answers. So I end up not even recommending those movies because I, I don't like a movie with an ending that's horrible. And when I say horrible, I don't mean like an ending which they can go ahead and do a part two. I mean, an ending that totally doesn't make any sense at all, you know, and just messes up the entire movie. I don't like endings like that, where it just makes you question everything and it just makes the movie just not a good movie. And I've run into that with a couple of movies that I watched all the way through and I'm about to recommend it. And I'm like, oh, that ending is not good. And most of the movies that are like this, they're not going to have a, a, a sequel. They, they're not. It's just... It was just a bad ending at any rate. Um, the, this movie is a good watch. If you just want a movie where you want to chill and watch a movie and relax and watch one, I think it's great. Also, this movie is two hours and 30 minutes, which for me, I, I don't have that kind of time. But with this movie, I, it didn't even seem like it. I made the time to watch it because... It wasn't, when I say I don't have the time, I mean, I don't, I should say I don't have the attention span. Not that I don't have the time. Basically, there's not many movies that can keep my attention for two and a half hours. This movie did, actually, when I, I just noticed right now that it was two and a half hours and watching it, I didn't even know that it was two and a half hours. That's how good it was for me. And I thought it, I would say I probably thought it maybe an hour and a half. I can't believe it was two and a half hours. So that shows you that it was really, really, really good. Check it out. It's called Deep Water. It's with Ben Affleck. And, you know, Ben Affleck is back. Congratulations to him. He, um, you know, he's doing movies now again. Uh, I don't, I mean, he didn't stop doing movies, but, you know, I really, you know, I don't follow Ben Affleck like that. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But I know his, he hasn't been making, like, from what I think, a ton of movies, but maybe he has and I just missed it. But this one, it caught my attention and I watched it. I'm glad I did. It's really good, guys. And this one is on Hulu. I got this one on Hulu, I believe. Yes, it definitely was on Hulu. And check it out. His co-star, the, the lady who plays his, um, his wife, she, I believe her name is Anna Armas. I hope I'm pronouncing that way. Right, but she's very beautiful and she's played in some other movies um, in the past as well that I can't recall right now, but I have seen her. I've seen her in the past in other movies. 
At any rate, I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.